Well, good morning, my Virgos. Hello, cutie pies. Look at the bottom of the deck. We got the Ace of Cups and the King of Cups. That is some big, good feeling love. All right, before we get into it, I know I said it last week. Why not say it again? Because I'm going to draw a name um, probably Thursday. I don't know if it's Thursday or Friday, to be honest. Um, Golden Art Nouveau Tarot. I This is my um, old deck. I already have the replacement deck, so if you're curious what it looks like, well, stay tuned. I'm going to use it today. But if you're interested in this, I've already packed it with some good love, good good vibes. Um, it's all packaged to go. I'm not opening it, so whoever receives it is the next one to open it. Um, yeah, so if you're interested, please comment below that you are interested, if you haven't already. I would probably, if you have, I already have you down from last week. Um, so yeah, Virgo, and please like and subscribe. Please like and subscribe. All right, let's see what's going on. Please let it be some good. Something good, Virgo. What, what is that song? Give me something good. Yeah. All right, Virgo, Summon, Rise, and Venus. If you are a Virgo, know a Virgo. Feel like being a Virgo. Well, Virgo, I am so glad you cutie pies are here, as always. General energy for my Virgos. General energy for my Virgos. What is the general energy for the collective that needs to come out? One more after this. After these messages, Virgo. Okay. You're like, wait, did I miss it already? All right. General energy for you cutie pies. What is it, hermits? What is it? General energy. General energy. Queen of Cups reverse. Do we have a true pair on the board? Not quite, but... Queen of Cups reverse. Who's being emotionally unavailable? What's influencing the Queen of Cups reverse? What's influencing the Queen of Cups reverse? What is it? Oh, there it is. Ace of Cups. There it is. Why do I feel like that's you, Virgo? You know, actually, let's see what comes out. But maybe, Virgo, you just aren't feeling it. And this this may be you. I, I uh, I get this could be somebody else this could be a come around or this could be something new somebody's bursting with confetti look at that ace of cups is hopefulness that's just the feeling i'm getting because when i pulled the queen of cups reverse i almost feel like it's virgo saying me you know what N not this time again not not you again it could be someone new though let's see what is the reason for the reading what is it what is it what is the reason for the reading virgo why are we all here today kids Ten of Pentacles, it's your card. This is this is um, a lot of stability. And it's not given to you, it's earned, and it's something you earned, and maybe you don't feel, if, if it's some type of new love coming in, maybe you're just not wanting to risk your stability right now because you're in a really good place. Um, we'll see but that's great that's a long that's that's legacy that's stability if you're a single parent i just think you're at a good place or you're getting there ten of pentacles reason for the reading or maybe this person wants to come and give you the ten of pentacles and it's not always money it's just stability it's energy it's it's long-term happiness that doesn't just dissip, dissipate dissipate like tomorrow like a, an emotion what is in the past for virgos what's in the past the five of cups sadness about having to leave something behind that's why she's walking in water you know they depict this like the eight of cups because eight of cups the person's leaving behind um eight full cups you know it's something they cared about but they just can't stay there any longer and the flowers mean it's it's your love the 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 essence of who you are is still alive and maybe to protect that essence virgo you it, you need to walk away and therefore you did walk away but if you ever walked in water it's it's heavy it's hard it's a lot of emotions and she's it's like wallowing in it and she it's either a you can wallow in it or b you can get out of it and i feel like between here and there you got out of it and i feel even though i'm, I'm honestly getting two people on this queen of cups card queen, queen of cups reverse i feel like you you probably dealt with somebody Maybe you offered them something or you gave your all to something and they just took you for granted and you're not feeling it because I do feel like it's a little bit of a comeback around. And maybe this person just can't get, you know, it's kind of like the tables are literally turned with Virgo. 
and you're like, I don't want to turn the tables. I want to, I just want to burn that shit down. Cause yeah, page of wands, this is where you are. Tarot's picking the cards today, obviously. Page of wands, bottom of that is the two of cups reverse in the tower. You don't need to revisit a lesson you've already learned. Am I telling you something you don't already know? You're like, Stacy, tell me something I don't know. Like who's coming in? I'm trying Virgo, I'm trying. Okay, page of wands though. I feel like that's where you are in your mind. You're just like, you got your eye towards the future. Maybe you have your eye on somebody. Maybe you have the eye on the potential of somebody. But you know who you don't have your eye on, Virgo? The past. And this person's in their feelings. But you know what? You were in your feelings when they did that to you. So, you know, it is what it is. What's in the near future? <laughs> I just keep looking at this King of Cups. But I'm ready to give this to Virgo. That's like, if I could hear this guy talk. I, I, Virgo's the one. I swear, Virgo's the one. I wanna, I'm want i finally ready to give him my cup. Bursting. All right. Six of Swords reverse. Yeah, you got somebody definitely stuck here. All right. And maybe you're, you know how energy works. Maybe you're the Virgo that's really stuck on something. And Virgo, let's be honest. Maybe you didn't do somebody right. If, if that, if, if it's reversed, you might be like, yeah, I may not have done them right, but... I'm not really feeling that to be honest, but it could be for somebody out there. You know, you just reverse it. All right, what's the near future? What is the near future for my Virgos? What is the near future? One more, one more, one more. Okay, Nine of Swords, Gemini Energy. Gosh, I mean, look at the eyes on her. Look at the eyes on her. I. We are definitely clarifying this. We are definitely clarifying this. I think you have somebody in the Nine of Swords. I think they're watching you and it puts them more in the Nine of Swords. You know why? Because you are in a new beginning. You are probably doing well. The reason why the Queen of Cups reverse is I just feel like you are not available now to this person. You know what? You have taken yourself off the market for this person. It's, you know... Um, yeah, in the Ten of Pentacles, the reason for the reading is you are only focused on the future. Maybe you're focused on your money, on your job, on your success, and you're definitely, definitely um, focused on anything new and then in the or the potential of somebody new. Some of you may already have somebody new, and the whole reason is is this person's energy is in here, being like, okay, I'm I'm ready. I'm finally ready for Virgo, and I think they see you doing well or looking good or just. Maybe people are liking you or, or I, I just got that. You got this person deep in their feelings because I, they, if this is, let's say this is social media, maybe people are like, Hey baby, what's up? What's happening? You're looking really good. And this person's just like, I know they are. And that's my Virgo. You know, it's like, they're not, you're not thirst anymore, but yet you are to them. Okay. Bottom of the deck, three of cups, page of cups, reverse. <laughs> you know what I got because the three of cups is friendship cards and it's new energies um before I mean <laughs> the first thought that came in my mind is your friends I think you might have friends are like no you need to block this person that's just a, a, a kind of a funny thing like your friends are like uh-uh but no you I think you have a very small but strong inner circle these days and do you see anybody standing outside that circle hell no I think that's what you cut out maybe when you when you kind of had to cut this out, this person and, and get on with your life, it's maybe you cut other things out. I feel like there was a big cleanse and page of cups reverse is just, yeah, I just don't even think you, uh, I don't think it's going to get very far with this, with this fella or how do you say the female fella or Gail? I just say, Gail. I don't know. All right. Queen of cups reverse and the ace of cups. What is, what are my Virgos doing? Somebody's got some big ass love for you, Virgo. And you know what, Virgo? You have some big ass love too for yourself. That's why you probably aren't taking them back. All right. Queen of Cups reverse and the Ace of Cups for my Virgos. What's going on? Queen of Cups reverse and the Ace of Cups. One more. Queen of Cups reverse and the Ace of Cups. What is that about? Queen of Cups reverse and the Ace of Cups. What is this about? What is this about? And the Ace of Swords reverse. You you know the truth that the that it, it, it's shady esque character. It's just it, you don't. I just feel like you don't need to revisit a lesson you've already learned. 
and you're you're just not willing to sacrifice or put put all your chips on the table when the ten of pentacles to take this person back to only get maybe you know it's literally putting 10 chips on the table at the knowing you may only get like two chips if you win you're just like no i i my bet my gamble is out there not not behind me but forward ace of swords reverse it's like who you were dealing with is one it's it's not happening because that is a, a hefty no the ace of swords if you ever have a yes no question the ace of swords is like the card right upright is yes oh yeah and when it's reversed, it's a hell no. So if you have a silent question out there, there you go. Ace of Swords reversed, center of the reading. But yeah, you don't trust this person. You honestly do not trust this person with your energy, your time, your love, anything. Not even with your gerbil, mm -mm, Virgo. You don't trust them. What is this Ten of Pentacles reason for the reading? What is the Ten of Pentacles the reason for the reading? What is it? Ten of Pentacles and the Eight of, yeah, look at you. I don't know what I, I the, the story with this person is quite clear, but what is not clear is what the hell are you doing? Eight of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, Virgos on a one way street to success, to financial stability, to legacy. And I'm feeling like you, if you, I keep feeling some of you definitely are single parents. You want a better future for your children. I mean, don't most parents, but you don't need a tarot reader to tell you that. But you really do want that. You really do want a better future for yourself. And you're not going to deal with anybody in the in the future. What you learned is they have to prove their work to you, or you're just not you're 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 not desperate. You know you're not so thirsty, Virgo, that you are willing to drink poison just to get some liquid. You're not that you're not thirsty. You're really not. Eight of Pentacles, though, you are really focused on a really good life. That's all I have to say money in the bank travel joy happiness and good people around you all right what is the five of cups in the past what is the five of cups scorpio scorpionic energy in the past what is that okay two of cups yeah i mean look was it a soulmate yeah did the soulmate put you on a better path i'm feeling they did with the ten of pentacles and eight of pentacles i mean give them some credit you could be you could still be with I, I wanted to say with this loser, that is not nice. Um, you could still be with this um, fixer upper. It's like, seriously, yeah, this isn't, they're like an HGTV project, fixer upper. And you realize you don't want a fixer upper. You want the house on the hill. You want the mansion. You want something already stable that you can move you and your family or whoever into it. You don't want to sit there and spend 10 years of your life trying to improve something when you can, but yeah, two of cups. I think it was really hard to walk away from this. I think they took a good chunk out of you. And maybe there's a part of your soul still there with them. I mean, usually that's, it's scars, you know? We don't usually get our full selves back from these situations. But we take what we can, let the scars heal, and we're stronger for it. What is the page of wands on your mind? The devil reverse. Look at that. Capricorn energy. You dropped, yeah. You released yourself, you unshackled yourself to that. And why would you chain yourself back to it? What is the, give me another card in that double reverse and page of wands. And you know, let me tell you, and nine of swords reverse, yeah. I did not think that nine of swords was you. On your mind, you are sleeping just fine. You are sleeping just fine these days. I think you probably even feel like you may have cut the soul bond. Maybe it took you a long time. Maybe you Googled it. Maybe you looked on YouTube. How do I break this person from my energy? Well, you did. You did. You're in a great place right now. But I do feel like you're looking towards the future. But just like these eyes on the card, I can't help to feel like dual energies on each of these cards, who you're dealing with. That's how strong this presence is. They're watching you too. See that? They're the page, page of wands waiting for that new beginning again, the ace of cups to finally say, okay, this is the one. This is the time. I'm ready. I'm ready. Waiting for their opening. And you know what? With this devil reverse, I just want to say maybe for one person out there, when you dealt with somebody, if they had a lot of addictions issues, maybe there was a big time difference and maybe they have put, you can't truly, I mean, how do you say that? I mean, addiction is always a part of you and it's always a possible possibility to go back to that. But I think they might be clean or they might be on a better path right now. And when you dealt with them, they weren't. That's all I'm gonna say. 
that is not advice to sit there and take this person back. You only know what to do. I'm just saying I felt that a little bit. So if I feel it, I have to say it because if it resonates with somebody as confirmation. But the devil reverse, nine of swords reverse, for the most part, I feel like you feel good. You you cleanse this person out of your energy. You're sleeping well at night. And again, I think you're only looking towards the future and the people you can rely on and trust. What is the nine of swords in the near future? What is the Nine of Swords in the near future for Virgo? What is this Nine of Swords in the near future? And the Five of Cups. There it is. There's the traditional Five of Cups. See, there. It's it's so interesting. And we have Scorpio. We have the Scorpio energy balancing this out. Maybe you dealt with this person. Maybe you. Let's just say this. Maybe you had to walk away for your own sanity, like in Scorpio season of one year, and then we come back around. Um, I don't know why it just went down that path, but I felt I felt there's the symmetry and balance here. Um, you left them, and they. I don't think they they were that worried back then, but now, like I said, I do feel like this big tables are turning, and maybe by this past Scorpio season, it's like they've been in their fields ever since. Um, but yeah, with the Five of Cups and the Nine of Swords, this is them. This is somebody focused on what they can no longer have. This is definitely, I feel like they're worried about people watching you, probably worried about what you're up to and what you're doing, and they have to look from a distance. And they're definitely in their feelings here. Give me another card about that. Nine of Swords and the Five of Cups. Nine of Swords and the Five of Cups. Nine of Swords and the Five of Cups for Virgo. What is that? The Ten of Wands reverse. And you're like, yeah, I dropped the devil and the burden of it. I do feel like you, you got the devil off your back. Why would you want him back on your back? You wouldn't, right? Where is Virgo going? Like, what what's Virgo up to? Because I'm like, I want to know about that. <laughs> <laughs> the Ten of Pentacles and the Eight of Pentacles. What is this Ten of Pentacles and Eight of Pentacles? What is what are my Virgos focused on? They are. I feel your focus is really strong here on yourself. What is this? Knight of Swords reverse. Gemini again. Maybe you dealt with a Gemini because look at this on this line. You're focused on is not one allowing this person back into your energy, not a swords reverse. You're focused on not giving these people your energy. Give me another card. What is Virgo focused on in the higher? Ooh, yeah, the hierophant reverse. Yeah, <laughs> you know, look at him. It looks like he's saying, Check, please. That's why it's it's reverse, and there's no coming back around. There's no giving this again. It literally looks like he's saying, check, please. I'm out of here. Um, no, Hierophant reverse, Knight of Swords reverse. There, it's never, ever, 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 ever going to happen again for this person. It just isn't. Two of Pentacles and the Hermit reverse. There you are. I do think you probably spent some time healing, getting yourself back, getting that balance back. And you're, I mean, and the Hermit reverse is going back into society after pulling themselves away to analyze who they dealt with, why it happened, you know, who am I? Who was I when I dealt with them? Who am I now? Where do I want to be? There was a lot of analyzation within this healing process. Two of Pentacles or Hermit Reverse is coming off that mountain with newfound knowledge and now applying it to your life with you're wiser for it, you know? And Two of Pentacles is Capricorn energy. I just feel like you've got your balance back. And yeah, Nine of Cups. Some of you are very in sun. Wow, look at that. Pisces and Leo here. Pisces and Leo and the Two of Swords. Yeah, blocking that heart, are you? No, this is this is just, again, with the twos mean, twos can mean duality and choices, but I like to think they're balance. It's it's just balancing all, all aspects of life in a, in a very strong way. And Nine of Cups is you protecting your energy. See, you have Nine Cups behind you because you're not allowing the F boys and F girls to come and just take a cup willy-nilly and not give anything return. I don't think you're going to allow anyone. You're just not going to offer anything over until they they show something up, up front. That's what I'm getting. And if you are not in this energy, maybe you really are. I just want to say that maybe you are a lot happier than you realize, but you're so I feel like this is hyper focus. You're focused on money, jobs, success, happiness, could be travel, all of that. You're just very focused here. That sometimes, maybe also a side point in the reading is sometimes you need to stop and be like, you know, like in a horror movie where they're running and running and running from whatever's chasing them and then they're safe. I feel like you can, 
it's like if you would stop running and look around, you're safe. Maybe that I, I, I just want to say that I feel like you're safe. I think you've got enough distance that maybe you're worried that if you stop and you stop the focus, you might allow this back in. And maybe it scares you that if, if you do talk to them, if you do open that line of communication, you might fall victim to them again or someone like them. But I want to say you're safe. I feel like you're safe now. I really want to say that. All right, my Virgos, that is what I have for you this week. I hope you have a splendid rest of your week. I'll see you actually, well, depending on, I'm starting to do on the weekends, I want to do my top three videos as a thank you, like the top, you know, views. So like I did you guys last week. Um, oh, that sounded dirty, didn't it? <laughs> I'm sorry. You're like, Stacy. this is not tarot after dark. I don't know. I'm going to take the top three numbers and I'm going to do a bonus read over the weekend. Um, probably Friday, Saturday, you know, Friday or on Saturday. So, and I'm going to do, I do the long spread, which is about 11 cards. So there's an arm here and that's when it's a really focused energy and it's, it's a real detailed reading, a lot more detailed. All righty, Virgos. I hope you have a splendid rest of your week and I may or may not see you this weekend. Who knows? But I'll definitely see you next week. Take care.